how do you keep motivated when everything's going wrong? Um, I want to put this in perspective because I can actually do it from experience or my current situation. Um, the dog food stuff, I'm still waiting on. I'm going to be chasing the guy on Monday because um, that should have been up and running. I should have actually been making profit by now. Um, website stuff's been a nightmare this week because I've got several projects to do relating to some business sites and although I've got my hosting sorted and my domain names my host has been very slow at sorting out the DNS on their servers to match up with the name servers but in layman speak the internet can't find the addresses and the host has all the addresses that I've given it and they're still sorting it out and yes I do all the bits and pieces myself relating to register them and but for some reason they have another step um, which I'm not accustomed to with anybody else's the way they've set their servers up so basically the internet's going I can't find these which means I can't work on them so it's been a dead week on that I could have done a lot of work on that so websites down dog foods let me down and on top of that I've got to get the car sorted I've had a look at a car today and it was a real bag of nails um, it was sort of shocking how much somebody will actually want to charge for a car that our class is gonna last a week or two um, I could hear the knocking on the engine, the, the pistons are knocking, uh, there's all sorts of problems. The the bodywork looked like it had been in a uh, stock car rally or something, <laughs> it was just a nightmare. And then somebody wants about one half thousand pounds for it. In the UK it would be worth about 400 quid if you were lucky, if you could get somebody to take it. Um, bear in mind it's just had it. Um, road worthiness test in the UK we call that M MOT Spain it's ITB um, but I looked at it tail lights broke etc I wouldn't have passed it I don't know how it got passed so alarm bells walk away so that's my week complete disaster so how do I get motivated again well the first thing I do is I get my notebook back out because I sit and write lots and lots of stuff down here on a regular basis and I go okay those projects I can't move forward with what can I move forward with so this morning we sorted out um, registering the kids for vaccines um, we sorted out paperwork issues and basically stuff we've been putting off because we've been busy with other stuff so it gets your mind off the fact that everything's a complete disaster at the moment. And when I say disaster, it's because it's a hang up from other people. You know, other people let me down, etc. It's not stuff that's in my control, which is where sometimes you get frustrated and get a bit down from it because you're there going right. I'm ready, full steam ahead, and nothing's falling into place. But when it does, you'll catch up. You will. the The main thing is calm before the storm so look for everything else you can do look have you got any other ideas that you haven't even looked at yet and should do by the radio station this week we were still waiting to see whether the guy was going to take his radio mast or not and he's turned up and took it so now we've got to put another mast there um, so I'm estimating the cost on the radio equipment because we may still go ahead with opening a radio station there because one's operated there for years um, I can't go into why the other one's been kicked out of the building, um, but there was reasons that resulted in a termination and a quick boot up the backside to leave. Um, so there's an oppor opportunity there. You've seen, you might have seen the other video. I'll put a link down here relating to the building because the radio station will be the top floor which also means that the middle, the ground floor and the basement are still vacant. Well, I say vacant. Um, the middle floor, well, the ground floor, has already got four people in it, um, another two, and that's full. Uh, the basement is a work in progress where that could become the next call centre. So we've got stuff going on, but 
the dog food is the domino effect because once you get the dog food in start supplying it wholesale the suppliers are going to be wanting it regular um, so we've got 13 pallets a week uh, 13 pallets in real money could be as much as 13 to 26 thousand euros a week profit um, so there's a lot of money involved but we get that money flowing um, you find that renting the entire building isn't an issue buying the equipment is not an issue so this is why I get stuck and also this is why I'm saying motivation comes from looking at everything else and saying right I can't do anything with that right now what can I work with tonight I'm doing these videos I've opened a bottle of the old rosé and I'm gonna chill out because I haven't had wine for a few weeks so <laughs> this is the first glass of wine um, so I'm looking at sitting here doing the videos pumping all the videos out getting everything up to date I've got some st stuff Dave requested as well which was to do with the supermarkets for Spain um, so I've got a couple of the supermarkets because they're, com they're completely different sizes and scales and you'll be surprised how different they are but anyway that's for Spain um, so the point is there's lots of stuff still going on the only problem I have is a lot of it isn't generating cash at the moment but this is normal you will find this is normal you'll have times where money is emptying out your pocket like no tomorrow I had it with my old furniture business because the furniture was slow it, it, it broke even every month and it did make a good profit in the end I made about hundred and twenty thousand pounds profit in six months but the big money was actually in haulage because it was a call that come through for another furniture store that just opened and said who does your deliveries because we're desperate for somebody to do deliveries off to do it for 13 pounds a delivery which is you know it's not big money but bearing in mind there's items this size being delivered 13 pounds so how many do you think are fit in the back of a Mercedes Sprinter because I'll go out like 10 o'clock in the morning and we'll come back to about 8, 9 o'clock at night I was making just on that 3 to three to probably 4,500 pounds a week um, fuel costs less than 100 quid so the point is you never know when the opportunity is going to come that's why you should never let yourself get down because being down doesn't help you what you need to do is just look at what's around you and my last video about other people on the way to being wealthy this is another important thing networking with similar people because I speak to Keith um, I talked to Keith today here in Spain regarding the car issues Keith owns that building that is in the other video um, and he's helping with the car insurance and stuff because the thing is like-minded people will do that for each other it's not about the money because lots of people don't understand the way you think you know because it's not always about profit it's about networking that network is worth more for example that video I did that video for him for nothing because it promotes his business um, but at the same time I was testing my camera equipment as well and Gordon that is also on the Spanish channel he's also moved up to that office because he, he liked the office space so he, he's actually in that video <laughs> because um, he actually moved up there that Monday so the fact is you use your network um, but the main thing is don't let things get you down there's always a positive there's always an outcome that will put things in perspective and push it forward and one of the things people really do not talk about when they're talking about moving forward and being successful is it's a lot of hard work very few people get to the top um, without putting stupid hours in and you'll get people like uh, what's his name Tim Tim Ferriss for example they'll talk about how he dropped his weight down just before a Thai boxing match just to bend the rules and that's that's how he won and it's how great that is it's not though is it because the whole point is with sport is it's it's about sport <laughs> you know it's not about oh well it, it, cheating you know dropping your weight down because you're actually a heavier size than the 
the guy that you're fighting because if you read the book you'll understand what I'm talking about but the the point is that is not how to play um, in business you can be like that and that's what corporations do and look what they're doing such a wonderful job um, I can't talk about the state of the UK because most of the big stuff the company I was working for is involved with so I can't go on about uh, the hospitals, I can't go on about the military, I can't go on about this, the rail because they're in all of them <laughs> But let's put it this way, I understand where all the problems are, and although these companies cut things to the bone, there is serious problems in the company's um, inability. I'll leave it at that. But, hey-ho, that's why I'm in Spain. Spain, bit of fresh air, bit of a family-orientated country, bit of a country that does have its corruption issues and everything else like anywhere else, but they're not my problems. I sit here in La Mata and I mean a guy was telling me this uh, this week how oh you'll get ripped off buying property in Spain blah blah. No I won't. <laughs> it's a lot of people that fall into these problems for the various reasons and I know there's a lot of stuff related to local government and central government working indefinitely uh, independently should we say, where local governments agreeing for property building and then central governments going, we didn't agree that, knock it all down. There's loads of that stuff. But at the same time, I don't. before I buy anything, I understand my marketplace. And it doesn't matter if it's a house, a car or anything else. I do my research. Like I said, I haven't bought the, that car I looked at today. It's a bag of nails. But at the same time, I went home and I looked for other cars and then I get a comparison on the price for example and I can see there's better stuff out there and it's all in the, the same area. I will have a new car by next week which also means I'll be going further afield soon once I've actually entrusted the car with taking me that far um, to Cartagena or somewhere so we can get some more video footage and interesting things to see. So anyway as you can see, I keep I self motivate myself there. You see, the start of the video I was really down and depressing, and well, I wasn't really down and depressing. I was just saying that the week's been bad. But as it's gone on, you can see I look for the positives on how I'm going to get out of this um, negativity and into a positive workflow, which is a do these videos, b get the new car so I can travel it out a bit more. Because the whole thing is, is disconnecting yourself from your workspace as well. Earlier, to go and get my wine, I went and walked into the town. Ten minutes of clear air, fresh air, hearing the sea, and realising this is what you're doing it for. It's beautiful country, beautiful town, fantastic location to live in. And um, being here with a wife and kids. What more could you want? And that's what you need to focus on, why you're doing it, and how you're going to get where you want to go. And like I said, some days they're just crap. Don't let it drag your week out. Just turn around and go, right, hands up. It's crap. Cheers. I'll see you tomorrow.